I tried coming up with an idea for a device from Yee Technology, but found it quite difficult to explain how their waterproof, night vision, 1080p outdoor camera with Wi-Fi connectivity and two-way talk could cost only $89. And that's just half the price of some with similar features that are already on our market. No, this is not a company trying to pull a fast product on us. I don't like them, I'll try a thing. Them non try a thing, trust me. These guys have it locked. If you don't believe me, go over to their website, yeetechnology.com, and you'll see some dope products, some dope devices that these guys create. What's up, everyone? Welcome to another Recaro James video. You can tell a whole lot about a company by the way they package their product and this was nicely done. You don't get an oversized box, things fit neatly inside and when you open up you immediately know what to do. The off-white color is amazing because it blends in with outdoor conditions and any intruder will inevitably lose focus of it. The base and the ball joint, they are made of hardened plastic. And that's excellent because then it retains its flexibility while outdoors. You don't just get a camera, you also receive an installation kit and a backup solution. The Yi Outdoor Camera is small. It is small and extremely compact. And you can just see how this compares to my Nifty 50 Canon lens. Wi-Fi antennas are built in on the inside. There's nothing on the exterior. To act as a possible lightning rod. Yeah, I believe that this mushroom last camera has to uh, lightning strike it. But anyway, with the Yi Outdoor camera, you also have a three meter long USB power cable, a micro SD card slot to record your footage to, but you have the option to record to the cloud. Based on where you're gonna mount your Yi Outdoor camera, it would be advisable to just activate a cloud account and receive unlimited storage. So yo, setting up the camera, effortless, too easy to ask me. I mean, they've included, they've, they've included everything you need, every single thing down to a simple thing as a template, template for marking out the holes for the base. This is in the box. You got a screwdriver. This is a mix of things. And you had more than enough wall anchors. So if you decide to mess up a few like how I did, you have 10, 10 to play with. So it doesn't really matter who you are, your skills, your abilities, what you can or can't do. The setup is quite easily done, easily achieved. Um, I think too easy. That's why I overlooked a few things and um, this is what happened to me. So yeah, it was a great day out. It was bright, it was sunny, but it was extremely hot. And you know, Jamaican sun don't play. Based on the time of day, I was like, yo, I have enough time can master this. Plus, E Technology decided to put everything I needed in the box. So I went back inside, used the rest of the time to finish up on some work and watch some YouTube videos. Two hours went by fast. And then it dawned on me, yo, I need to put holes in the wall to get this camera mounted. I remember my drill was out for repairs and by the time I got to one, that was another 30 minutes gone. To add to that, the two batteries seemed to be hosting a free event, no charge. Now with my luck, I grabbed one, but it seemed to be one that already had given up on living. Wasted another 30 minutes trying to put life into something that was just not returning from the dead. So kind of getting frustrated now, not sure what to do. I started to hit the living daylight out of the drill, but that didn't work. So my next best option was to place the other battery on charge and that's another 30 minutes. Now for this entire time, I had my fingers and even my toes crossed and I was like, let it work, let it work, let it work, let it work, let it work. Yes! Finally, I can get on to something else.
So yo, installing this camera, way, way easier than getting a drill to work. And of course, the template that they included came in quite handy. Now for wall anchors, as mentioned, you had more than enough. I destroyed a few of them, but you get 10. You only need four holes for this bad boy to be mounted. So whatever, man. So yo, just like the smartphone that you're holding now, your USB power cable is pretty much similar. You have three meters to work with, so make sure your power source is within that distance. Once you have that covered, boom, you're good to go. Once you've gotten this done, now you can head over to the Play Store or the App Store, download the Yi Home app. It's a free app, by the way, just to point that out. Then as you move forward, the app will walk you through by highlighting the next few steps that you need to take. While it's not doing that, it will be giving you audible or audio instructions. So there you go. Once you've placed the QR code that you're given in front of a camera, you now have a fully functional, fully operational outdoor monitoring solution. So I took the time out to save a few recordings for you guys for you to see what it looks like. So this is after setup. The next is a rainy day and then you'll see early in the morning. Now for the app, when you have it in portrait mode, you can twist your phone and you'll see it pan from side to side. And that's, that's really cool. Next, you can turn it in landscape, but these, these buttons are still available in portrait mode. But once you turn it in landscape, you'll see a full view. You have all these options. So you can change from standard definition to high definition adjust the audio or turn on, turn off the audio. You can take photos. You can even turn on your microphone from the app. So turn on, press and hold, turn on the microphone and you can speak to whatever is out there. The speakers on this device is loud. Other than that, you can also record. Just tap a button and record what's going on in your environment, in your surroundings. Check out the app, there's a ton of features, there's a whole lot of stuff to go through and you can tweak, you can adjust to your liking. So guys, thank you for tuning in to another Recara James video. Hey, much love, much respect to my brethren, Chris, Sean, big up myself. Um, knew nothing about e technologies, absolutely nothing, but on my last video he said, yo, check out e technologies, I think this home cam, home cam I'll be, I'll be bringing to you guys next. But yo, check out this home cam. Um, I think it's very, very cool. I think it's affordable. It's a 1080p cam. It has all the features similar to the cam that you talk about, but it's cheaper. It's more affordable. And um, I reached out to E-Technologies and they said, yeah, I'll send over, we'll send over two. So they sent over the outdoor cam and the home cam. So make sure you tune in. I'll be doing a video on this guy next. But yo, much respect, much love. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you technologists for sending over their stuff. I have no affiliation with these guys, but yo, I think they make really, really cool products based on my experience with the outdoor cam. Really simple, really easy to use. Um, what I've been doing is linking up a few of their other products. So the dash cam, the home cam, whatever, all the other stuff. I've been linking them up in the description so you guys can go there and check it out. But yo, if this video helped you in some way, if information you know, is relevant to you, or if you know somebody who may want to know more about this product, definitely you should share this video. Make sure you leave a thumbs up and of course subscribe. But yo, thank you for, thank you for tuning in, thank you for watching. Peace.